Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go over resonance structures and how to tell which structure is better or worse. So first, we're gonna start with our priority list. In one, two, three, the better structure has more octets, more covalent bonds, and the negative charge is on the most electronegative atom. So keep this in mind when we're doing our problems and it'll make more sense when we actually see them in action. So I'm gonna scoot this down. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about curved arrows, what they do, what they symbolize, and then make this structure better. Okay, so as a given, I was given that this curved arrow was here. And in reality, we can see that this is a resonance structure because these lone pairs can move around. Can't, move, can't really move around bonds on hydrogens because hydrogens just hang out with one connected to the other. But we do see that this carbon has a charge on it. And that's already kind of like, wait, we don't really like charges on positive atoms, so let's just see how it works. And we'll double check our octet rule first. So this has one, two, three, mm, missing, not really an octet. This one has one, two, three, four groups. Hydrogens are normally always good. So let's use this arrow terminology to make this into a better resonance structure or worse, depending on how it turns out after. So this arrow is just showing that these two little electrons are gonna turn into a bond and go here. So this single bond has turned into a double bond. And that means that we only have one lone pair left, hydrogen on the end, and then two hydrogens off of the carbon. So now we'll check our octets, how are we doing? One, two, three, four, better. One, two, three, four, better. And then we also have hydrogens are still good. And Let's double check our formal charge, right? Because this one had a charge on it, so that means that this has to have a charge on it because the charge stays the same between resonance structures, period, every single time. So, our net charge, excuse me. So, let's check our carbon. Remember that it's valence electrons minus bonds plus electrons. I'm sorry, oops, you can't see that, like this. Bonds are count as one, and you count the electrons individually. So this carbon, or let's just do this oxygen. This oxygen has six valence electrons, minus one, two, three, four, five, six. So this oxygen has a zero formal charge. But we don't really write zeros, they're kind of redundant. This carbon has four valence electrons, minus one, two, three. So that's why it has this plus charge right here. Let's do the carbon oxygen on this one. Carbon, four, minus, one, two, three, four. Oxygen, six, one, two, three, four, five. So that means that this oxygen has a plus one charge. We're like, wait, our number three says that we want a negative charge on the most electronegative atom, but we have a positive charge on the most electronegative atom. So what does that mean? But wait, our number one rule is octets. This molecule, the carbon, doesn't have a full octet, but in this molecule, all of the molecules, all the atoms inside, mostly the carbon and the oxygen, have a full octet. So that means that this resonance structure is better, which is good. If the octets still weren't fulfilled, then we would look at the covalent bonds. But since we didn't get to that point, we're all good. And now, we're gonna follow another curved arrow diagram and discuss if the molecule is better or worse. And this is all given to me, so if it looks good, I'm like drawing this really fast, then don't freak out. Draw little lone pairs. And then this carbon has a little negative charge on it. The directions on this question say to draw a more stable resonance structure given these arrows. So we're just gonna follow the arrows. 
I'm literally only knowing what to do because these arrows are telling me what to do. This one says, move this little lone pair of electrons onto this carbon. Okay, deal. Just like the last one. Keep our hydrogens the same. And then this one has this bond going onto the oxygen, but we can't have a bond like hanging out by itself. So that just means that this oxygen is gonna have another lone pair and this is gonna turn into a single bond, not a double bond. We got hydrogen left. Okay, so I need to double check our formal charge. Carbon looks good, one, two, three, four. This one looks good, one, two, three, four. What about our oxygen? Six valence electrons minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means that this oxygen has a negative charge on it. So you're like, hey, what the hell? Now, we know that this one is better because even though our octets are the same, just by glancing on it, we also double count our covalent bonds. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our covalent bonds are the same too. But our negative charge went from the carbon to the oxygen, which means that it is better because it's a more electronegative atom. So that means that this structure is more favorable and better than this structure. That's resonant structures. I hope that my little like to-do list number one through two, number one through three made more sense. Let me know if you have any more questions.